Storyteller Circus is coming to your town. The best bang for your buck, it is the only game around. Will you forget about your troubles at least for a little while? We never charge a cover, we just want to see you smile. Here at Storyteller Circus, and we're coming to your town. Underneath this old here big top is where the adventure will go down. Here at Storyteller Circus. Hello, all my circus freaks out there. It's story time, and I am your humble story teller. So, no uh, voice acting off screen, no uh, play acting this time, just uh, me talking at the camera and a boring channel update. But I felt that I needed to kind of clarify some things moving forward. So, to be perfectly clear, I am not an obsessed circus owner, you know, on the verge of collapse. <laughs> I'm not a uh, maniacal megalomaniac bent on YouTube domination. I, these are just characters. And uh, everything said is, you know, to improve the story and kind of broaden the scope of the setting I'm trying to uh, lay out. You know, and that's part of the fun of, of world building, you know, is coming up with the stories that take place within the story. Um, so for the next few videos, I'm going to try my best to kind of do one-on-one -on -one introductions with each of the wrestlers and some of the players that might be playing in the game. You know, kind of give them a chance to <coughs> develop their backstories and kind of introduce themselves to the viewers. And it also, you know, can be their character's perspective answering the uh, first Warcry video, which uh, I really like that name. That's going to be kind of our running uh, name for the wrestling shows. Kind of like, you know, Raw, SmackDown, Nitro, Thunder, whatever. Um, it's Warcry. I really like that. Um, uh, anyway, I'll be doing some, you know, character introductions, kind of giving all the, their backstories, kind of have them answer basically my call to arms, which was the uh, war cry video. <coughs> um, so be looking forward to that. That'll be a whole lot of fun to do. Um, another thing I've been toying with the idea of is kind of expanding on this whole character of the cook. You know, I've mentioned him kind of briefly uh, in a couple of the videos, and I I've got to thinking, you know, I'm a cook. That's my uh, profession <laughs> until YouTube takes over. And why not use that and kind of make some, you know, really short, kind of lighthearted, kind of funny videos, you know, detailing the kind of uh, silly things that cooks get up to, I guess. So I got to thinking about, you know, how do I work that into the story? Well, okay, so Storyteller has his cook, <clears throat> his head chef. And um, this head chef, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing he's kind of eccentric and... and um, does things his kind of own way, uh, which should make for some interesting uh, <clears throat> plot lines, I guess. But um, anyway, his um, cook, his kitchen, I guess, exists in a pocket dimension. So this is the idea I've got so far. You know, bear with me. It's, it's Dungeons and Dragons. We can do whatever we want. Uh, but <clears throat> the cook can, you know, maybe once every week or two, I release a Kiss the Cook or The Cook's Always Right or whatever we decide to name it. Video, and it'll be, you know, just little kind of clips of, you know, funny things that happen in kitchens. And it'll still be set within the world of Arcona. So that should be fun. And, um, you know, something a little different. You know, things have been kind of, <clears throat> as far as with the story and the wrestling, you know, I'm having to be a bit more serious as far as the stories are concerned or building those stories. But I can be, you know, kind of funny and quirky with the uh, Kiss the Cook videos or whatever we decide to call it. But um, that's about it for this time, y'all. So y'all know the drill. Like, follow, comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. I love y'all. I really do. And I hope to hear from you soon, all my circus freaks. I'm not a superhero.